All right, so this tutorial video is going to be about the distance formula and how to classify triangles with it. Okay, so let's say I say I have triangle with point A being at 3 comma 5. Point B, we'll say, is at 0 comma 10. And point C is at negative 2 comma negative 3. Okay, so again, I'm just making up these points. All right, so... Just for visual purposes, let me go ahead and graph this. And most of you might say, well, if I graph it, won't I tell what kind of triangle it is? But again, to have justification or proof, you have to know the distance formula. So let's see the best way to graph this here, if I can do a little pre-planning. All right, so 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's point A. Point B is... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here's point B. And then point C is negative 2, comma, negative 3, which is right here. So this is point C. So if I were to draw a triangle between all these points, it would look something like this. Now, you might look at this triangle and say, well, it it's scalene. You might look at this triangle and say it's obtuse, but I need to have mathematical justification in order to verify that, okay? So how we do that is with the distance formula, right? And here's where distance formula comes in. So a lot of you have heard of a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and you'll say, hey, that's Pythagorean theorem. Correct, right? So if I, if I can prove it's not a right triangle, then it's not a right triangle, and then I could say if it's scalene or isosceles, meaning two equal sides, or equilateral, meaning all three equal sides, but we'll find out here, okay? So Pythagorean theorem is one way to figure it out, but let's just start by finding the distances between the two points. So let's go from A to B, all right? So A to B is right here, and I know there's a distance formula, like there's an actual formula you can plug things into, and a lot of students like it, but let me help you understand the concept of where the distance formula comes from, okay? So, let's say I want to go from A to B. So the change in Y, meaning I have to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units, okay, so that's 5, and I have to go over 1, 2, 3, right? So I had to go up 5 over 3, which is like, oh, that's the slope. Yes, in a sense, but in order to find the distance, look what I just did. Did I just make a right triangle? And look at the green line A to B. Isn't that the hypotenuse of the triangle? So couldn't I do 5 squared plus 3 squared equals, again, we'll say AB squared, right? Because it's A to B squared, okay? Now, you might say, but wait, you went up 5, but to the left 3, so shouldn't it be a negative 3? Okay, even if I made it negative 3 squared, what happens when I square negative 3? So negative 3 times negative 3 is positive, right? So it doesn't matter if these are positive or negative. So 25 plus 9 equals segment AB squared, which is going to be 34 equals AB squared. And then I don't want AB squared, I just want AB, so I take the square root. And 34 doesn't simplify nicely, so I'll just leave it squared 34. So line segment AB is the square root of 34. Okay, and for this, I mean, you can make it a decimal if you want to, but if your teacher ever says have exact answers, then make sure you leave it as a square root and try to simplify if possible. Maybe one of these will simplify, so it's a bit easier. All right, so I'm going to repeat the same process, but do it from B to C. Okay, so again, watch what I'm going to do. So to get from B to C, I need to go to the left 2, right? So see now, if I go over left 2, it's there. So left 2, so that's, we'll say negative 2. And I need to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I went down 13 to get there. And look what I made, a right triangle. So you see the pattern, see what I'm trying to get at here? So I made a right triangle, and now I'm going to do Pythagorean theorem for this new triangle. So I'm going to do negative 13 squared plus negative 2 squared, and it's going to equal 
line segment BC squared. All right, so uh, negative 13 squared again becomes positive, so 169, and then negative 2 squared is positive 4, which makes that 173 is BC squared. And then take the square root of that. Okay. And just for sake of it, we'll just go ahead and leave it square root 173. Okay. All right. So that is equal to the square root of 173. Let me write that a little nicer. There we go. All right. And the last one we have to figure out is line segment AC. All right. So rather, I mean, you could obviously make the right triangle if you want to, but again, conceptually, all I'm doing is finding the difference of the y's and the difference of the x's, okay? So a and b are just the differences of the y's and the x's, and I'm just going to square them, okay? So to get from c to the letter a, I need to go up 8, so up 8, so 8 squared, plus to go from c to a as far as going left to right, I need to go to the right 5, so 5 squared. All right, and that's going to equal line segment AC squared. And if you did if you did the whole make the triangle like this, you would get the same exact thing, right? This distance is 5, this distance is 8. But notice how again I just use the graph or you can subtract the differences in the points, okay? So, I could do it like this if you want to see another breakdown here. So from A to C, it is, we'll do the x values first, okay? So it's going to be 3 minus negative 2. And then the y values is 5 minus negative 3 squared. And two negatives make a positive, and that's how I got 8 squared. Two negatives make a positive, that's how I got 5 squared, okay? So, again, you can make the triangle, make the drawing, but in order to save time, we just use the differences of the x's, squared plus the differences of the y's squared, and that's going to give me that segment squared. All right, so it's going to be 64 plus 25 minus 8 seconds squared, and then that's going to equal 89, and then square root. So uh, this seg particular segment is square root of 89. Okay. Now, in order for this even to be considered a right triangle, wouldn't the two smaller sides, right, A and B, have to equal the hypotenuse, right? Hypotenuse squared. So, it has, so the biggest square root I have is 173. So, if for this to have a chance for it to work, it, so the two lengths have to be equal to the square root of 173. Okay, and 3489 doesn't matter, so let's do 34 plus 89 square root, of course. Okay, and remember, Pythagorean theorem is square, square, square. So it would be 34 plus 89 equals 173. Is that true or false? And that is false. Okay, notice how... 173 is greater than those two added together, which those two added together would be 123. Okay, so 123 is less than 173, meaning if the hypotenuse is bigger, this is an obtuse triangle, okay, meaning that this angle right here is greater than 90. But notice how all the different sides are different lengths too, correct? So notice how all three of them gave us three unique numbers, meaning this would be a scalene triangle. If all of them were the same or the same number, it would be equilateral because everyone's the same equal. If two of them were the same, that's called isosceles. And again, if none of them are the same, it's called scalene. So that is how you classify a triangle using the distance formula in a coordinate plane.